He who will not follow well will never lead well. Ephesians 5.1 says, Be ye therefore followers of God as dear children. Pastors or shepherds are leaders of flocks, and as such, they should be examples. A father is the shepherd or the pastor to his family, and as such, should be an example, especially to his children. Now, while many of the leaders we may know seem to be out front, blazing a trail, sometimes alone, the truth is that to become the kind of leader that can be out ahead of everyone else, a true pioneer in leadership, he has learned the lessons of life well. So well, in fact, that he applies the rules and principles learned in those life lessons. And they've learned them so well that they are in part of his being and his character. And they serve to help him be successful. What I'm saying is that before one can become a strong leader, he must first learn by being a strong follower. Every great leader has had great influence in his life. Just as insubordinate soldiers do not get promoted to positions of leadership, insubordinate people do not become trusted leaders. Whether in business, education, sports, ministry, or just in trusted relationships, insubordinate people do not rise to levels of trusted leadership. The conclusion, if you will lead well, you must first follow well. Methuselah learned from his father Enoch, Noah from his father Lamech, and his grandfather Methuselah. Moses learned from Jethro, Joshua from Moses, Samuel from Eli, David from his father and from Samuel, Solomon from David, Elisha from Elijah, and on it goes. Jesus learned not only from God, but from Joseph, and the disciples from Jesus, and the church directly or indirectly from them. Good leaders arise in great part from those who led them. The greatest leader of any person today is Holy Spirit. He is to lead and guide us into all truth, bringing to our remembrance all that Jesus taught. And the Bible says as many as are led by him are the sons of God. To be a good son, one must follow well. Follow well after Holy Spirit, my friend, and allow him to make of you a strong spiritual leader in many lives.